Good morning and welcome to AM Break with Ann and Audra. I am on my own today as we have Audra traveling. She is in Atlanta doing her thing as a director of COCA. So have a great time up there, Audra. We do miss you. But what we're going to talk about today, we're going to have some folks here from Clarity Point. We're going to have some folks here from the Kearney Center. And we're also going to head over to a little unique store with specialty gifts just because I know you're going to love it. And uh, we've got some other exciting things on the show, including Brian Barnard's Flooring America. We're going to go ahead and get right into the show right now after this break. Filming live in Tallahassee each and every week, you can imagine I've seen just about every business in town. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. But one business stands out above the rest and you see their cars everywhere. Where you ask? Right here at Kraft Nissan. I got my last three cars here and I'll get my next three cars here. It's no wonder that Tallahassee is a Nissan town. These guys make me feel super. I love that. At Cabello's Salon and Spa, we love clients like you. Cabello's has the most talented beauty industry professionals in Midtown Tallahassee. Ranked as one of the most popular salon and spas, Cabello's combines an elegant environment with warm and welcoming customer service. Cabello's is known for impeccable hair care expertise from innovative cutting techniques to the latest trends for color. Cabello's is the place to go for Halo Couture hair extensions and luxurious Brazilian blowout treatments. All of our stylists are highly trained, creative, and committed to understanding the needs and desires of our clients with a focus on maintaining the integrity of your hair. As a full-service salon and spa, Cabello's offers luxurious manicures and pedicures and waxing services, as well as eyelash extensions, microblading, skin care, spray tans, and of course, massage services. Make an appointment and discover why you belong at Cabello's Salon and Spa. Good morning and welcome back to AM Break with Ann and Audra. Joining me now is the amazing Daryl Jones. And Audra said I had to say that. She said I had to tell <laughs> the truth amazing. and I that you it. are amazing. So you. why are you joining us here today? Well, I'm a member of the Big Men Men Week Committee, Men being Minority Enterprise Development Week. Okay. And the first week in October, our nation pauses to uh, recognize the work of minority and women-owned businesses and we've been doing that here in our community now for 25 years and a part of that uh, recognition are workshops uh, to build capacity sure. for minority and women's small uh, minority and women uh, owned businesses it also gives us an opportunity to honor members of our business community this year uh, our woman owned business of the year is Miss Lucy Ho. Yay, I love her and her many uh, restaurants. A culinary icon in this community. For sure, absolutely. Certainly as a business owner, the former Lucy Ho's. Mm -hmm. uh, what is now it? we've got a zoo, we've got Masa, and we've got Dow. I know where all three and, of them are, and I, I frequent them. Love them all. Right. And then we also are recognizing Attorney Mutaki Akbar as Minority Business of the Year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Akbar Law Firm has an enormous impact in the historic Frenchtown community, they really do. Yeah. where he most recently built his law firm. Uh, he's been in practice now for 15 years so we're going to acknowledge him and then our major award our economic development champion award named for the late reggie roll will go to none other than congressman al lawson oh well congratulations congressman that's yeah, right. that's awesome. so this is going to be a fantastic week and we're excited to engage the entire community sure. uh in the work of minority enterprise development and that all of our entire community uh would be enlightened about the enormous impact of minority and women-owned businesses. Sure, and these, these events are open to the public. These events are open to the public. Uh, I know you'll share our information. Right, you they can see can, it on the screen right now, all uh, the different events going on. All the different events going on. They can uh, go to our website, uh, register for those events. Sure. The workshops are going to be fantastic. They're being uh, coordinated by the Family Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. We also have as our partners, of, of course, the Florida State University, Florida A&M University, mm -hmm. and a variety of partners, the Jim Moran, Institute is our title sponsor. Uh, the Office of Economic Vitality, where I work as right. deputy director, is also involved. Uh, we have local businesses like Tal Quinn, the Leon County School Board, sure. and of course we have the participation of the local chambers as well. Wonderful. And why is it so important that we pause and take time to honor minority and female-owned well, businesses? In our community alone, 
14% of our locally owned businesses are owned by minorities. We're actually in a, in a business right now that's owned by women. Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's why I'm here among all these beautiful things right? in this yeah. women-owned business. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, uh, women-owned businesses make up 23% sure. okay. of our market share in this community. And so their impact is enormous and substantial. And so any way that we as uh, co-collaborators and uh, partners in uh, what we like to describe as this business ecosystem, if we can bring come together and provide the type of uh, capacity building instruction, networking opportunities, sure. as well as put a focus on what business success looks like, right. particularly with our honorees, that's time well spent. It is. It really, really is. All right. And it's, it's good to have privately owned businesses, minority oh, and other Minority ones, and, right? and women owned businesses. Right. It's good for the economy. And it's good for the economy. All right, so if anybody wants to contact your office for what you do professionally every single day, what's that contact information? That information is 850-300-7567, Daryl Jones. That's right. It's on the screen for you right there. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you We will you do our me. part in trying the to get as many people Ann out there. Howard. Oh, how about that? All right, thank you so much for joining us. We'll thank be right you. back. Axio Salt Spa and Juice Bar is the perfect place to begin a new you. Start with the salt room experience with Himalayan salt infusion to leave the stress behind. And move to the salt chamber to take your reliefs to the next level. We offer massage and facials as well as a complete line of Eminence products to treat your skin. Finish your treatment with an organic juice or smoothie from our juice bar. Axio Salt Spa and Juice Bar, the perfect place to get your relief from the inside out. At Budget Blinds, we're in business to frame the light, the day, and the night. So we give you an exclusive combination of high style, expert service, our no surprises pricing, and our no questions asked warranty. We believe that everyone, at every budget, deserves style and service. Isn't that a beautiful place to be? Good morning and welcome back to AM Break with Ann and Audra. Joining me now is Monique Ellsworth. I was going to get confused and say El Market because that's where we are. So, but anyways, <laughs> I've got it straight. So, Monique, thank you for joining us very much. Thank you. Let me have you introduce yourself as to who you are in our community. Yeah. Hi, my name is Monique Ellsworth and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for CESC Inc. And so, we're actually going to go back into time and we're going to have a history lesson. Most, I, I would say, most likely, folks know the Kearney Center. So when they hear Kearney Center, sure. they, they know exactly what that is. But your organization, which encompasses the Kearney Center, let's, let's go back, historically speaking, how did it all come about? Sure. Um, the Tallahassee Leon Homeless Shelter, which was on Tennessee Street, it was located there for 26 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the mission for, for that agency was to provide um, services for individuals in our community experiencing homelessness, but those were primarily shelter and meals. Right, sure. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Very simple. Right. Um, and in 2015, I'm sorry, in 2012, the Renaissance Community Center opened up and we shared a backyard with the right. homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. right. So we were on, on Virginia Street. And our mission was to make sure that we could pull together all the various social service agencies that already exist in our community so that they could co-locate in one single location right. to try and cut down the barriers of transportation that usually exist between someone who's experiencing homelessness and the variety of services that they right. might need. Right. So we provided a venue where all these agencies could come together and provide a more holistic approach to serving the individuals in our community experiencing homelessness. Right. So from 2012 to 2015, we operated as two separate agencies and two separate buildings. But but close together, therefore making it easy to walk back and forth. Very for easy. The service. Yep, it's a genius idea. And then it progressed. So what, what happened after that? So yeah, in 2015, we d decided um, to co-locate and move into the same building together. So the building that the Renaissance Community Center operations and the shelter operations moved into was named the Kearney Center. Right. And the Kearney Center is named after Rick Kearney. A little history on him, just some basic information. Yeah, so Rick Carney, he's the chair of my board, right. um, and he's a philanthropist in our community. He's been involved in homelessness services since about 1985. Sure, right. Um, so long history of dedication to those in our community experiencing homelessness, and still is showing that through strong leadership in our community to ensure that we are providing really innovative ways to serve the, the individuals in our community that are most at risk or currently experiencing homelessness. Right, awesome. And so thank you, Mr. Carney. It has been a really, really big impact. I hear people talk all the time that you see fewer oh, yeah. homeless folks out 
out in those camps that you often find in the woods. So it's actually given them a really safe location to to go, which is, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the acronym. So CESC stands for the Comprehensive Emergency Services Center. Right. And so the idea is that um, this, this entity serves one mission in our community, and that is to ensure that homelessness is rare, brief, and non-recurring. Right. And we're able to do that by having a number of different programs that serve specific goals and making sure that we um, meet that expectation. So right. we have the Kearney Center, which is the homeless shelter, right. and the basic needs of someone experiencing homelessness or at risk of experiencing homelessness can be met there. So that's, a, a, in a lot of ways, we might look at that as the way we triage someone. So if someone in our community is at risk of experiencing homelessness or is currently homeless, they could come to us and during our assessment or our intake process, we determine um, whether or not we think we would be the best fits for someone and they need to stay here at the sure. Carney Center with us or if simple advocacy might work. So we do a lot of um, diversion and trying to make sure that if some other location is still possible for them that they utilize that before actually utilizing our services at the Kearney Center. But when we determine that there's no other option, they're welcome to stay with us. We only serve single men and women. Right. Um, so we don't serve families overnight at our shelter, but during daytime right, hours, right, right. we serve many families in our community who are, again, at risk or currently experiencing homelessness and receiving shelter at one of our other partnering agencies. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so uh, we're actually going to, we're now partnering, partnering with your organization to make Make sure the community knows more about what you do which we appreciate we we love we're excited about that so in the future what else are we going to talk about there's specific things that you all i mean there's so many things that you do but in, in the future we're going to talk more about the actual carney center we're going to talk more about the dwellings and what else do we have to talk about that people just need to know the the third big project that we currently have is named westgate and that's the transitional housing program that we had so yes it's, it'll be the carney center which is our homeless shelter right the dwellings which is the new tiny house community that's forming in our in our community which is really exciting right. and then Westgate which has been an amazing success for us and serves as a great transitional program for most people wonderful so before we close out can we talk about what folks watching this in the community that if they want to help what are some things that they can do to help progress this effort sure um, so CESC Inc is a nonprofit organization so like every other nonprofit we rely a lot on community donations and support so we accept donations 24 hours a day um, that could be clothing. It could be food. Um, it could be money. I, I know you can't say this. You can't be as crass, but I, I can. can. So, yeah, actually, okay. No, yeah. So we, financial contributions. Always, and that money is always designated for very broad use, but always going toward homeless people. So, if you want to make a donation, monetary, definitely would be accepted. Absolutely, and even if you want it to be specifically used for one thing, sure. please let us know that. If you have a, a, a heart for our food program, it can go to support our food program. If you have a heart for medical issues experienced by people in our community that sure. don't have access, it can go to support our medical clinic. That is um, wonderful, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's ways that if you don't want to give so broadly, you can really give specifically also. So we try and meet our, our, our supporters where they are and make sure that they feel that their funds are being used appropriately. Right. And I know from having been to the Carney Center, volunteers are always welcome absolutely so we are again it's 24 hours a day seven days a week we never close um, and so we rely heavily on our, our volunteers to come in um, they help with everything from day to daytime operations evening operations our laundry services our food services um, right. and again with our volunteers if they have a specific charge or a way that they feel most compelled to give back we want to make sure that we meet those needs and we ensure that our our volunteers are, are feeling like we're adequately meeting the, the purpose that they're there for wonderful so and let's say you have a Somebody with their CPA, could they come in and offer financial? Absolutely. Anything? So financial counseling is something that we're uh, working heavily on is to ensure that uh, we're partnering with some of our local banks. Sure. And they're actually sending bank representatives in to help uh, individuals set up um, bank accounts that we never have had previously. Right, which is crazy to think of, but it's true. Yeah. Right, sure. It's very interesting. So uh, whatever special talent somebody has or whatever gift that they want to give back, we want to make sure that we can meet that and, uh, and, and engage people in a way that they find to be most meaningful. Perfect. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, like I said, we're going to have you back on a regular basis, yeah. um, other representatives, and so we are so excited about this partnership, and we really hope that we can help make an impact with you together and so we can um, make homelessness, you said, rare. Brief and non-recurring. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we thank can't you. wait to see you again. We'll be right back. Whether you're building a new home or remodeling your current home, at Brian Barnard's Flooring America, we can help you achieve the look you want at the prices the box stores can't compete with. For hardwood, carpet, tile, and rugs, for any area in your home, we'll take your design ideas and turn them into reality. 
from all the floors in your home to the walls in the kitchen and bath. We have the right products at the right price with exceptional service and installation. Brian Barnard's Flooring America, where friends send friends. Located in Midtown Tallahassee, Bella Bella Italian Restaurant is where you'll find delicious, authentic Italian food at an amazing price, served with impeccable attention while enjoying a unique, found only in Tallahassee ambiance. Every day, customers enjoy Bella Bella's signature appetizer, bubble bread, followed by one of a kind specialties or a longtime favorite crafted only at Bella Bella. A Tallahassee landmark, Bella Bella is a family owned and run business focused on traditional values with the highest standards. Come enjoy lunch, dinner, or the best happy hour in Tallahassee. At Bella Bella, we live up to our name and make sure your visit is truly one of beauty. I'm here at Brian Barnard's Flooring America here with Brian Barnard Jr. And you're going to tell us about something that is basically the hottest trend when it comes to flooring right now. What's Absolutely. That? Luxury vinyl plank. This is the single fastest growing segment of our industry. Um, it is replacing laminate flooring and, and really turning some wood customers into vinyl plank customers as well. Well, tell me a little bit more about the composition of this particular product. The biggest uh, plus to this product over a laminate floor or even a wood floor in some cases is that it's so indestructible. Nothing's bulletproof, but right. if there was something that was close to it, this is it. And uh, this particular product is extremely scratch resistant, 100% waterproof, and uh, can in many cases go down over any substrate. So for example, if I have that lovely gorgeous tile from the 1970s, <laughs> Do I have to pull that up first or can I just lay down on top of it? In many cases, you can go right over top of it without taking the flooring up. You can bridge right over top of the tile. Perfect. And so, uh, I mean, and that's one of the things with replacing tile. So many people want to, but it's such a mess to do. It is costly and can be a mess in, in many cases. So this is a great opportunity or an option to go over top of it. Perfect. And who do you, re what, well, what areas of the house would you recommend this particular flooring? This particular flooring can go in any area. It can go in kitchens, dining rooms, um, any wet areas because it's so waterproof. Oh, wow. um, it's great for pets. It, um, it can even go into full bathrooms. Not wow. on the walls, unfortunately. Not on the walls. And so pets, kids, dirty people running all throughout the house. This is a perfect, perfect product. This is a, a product for all people. All right. Anything else you want to add about the product? Uh, just to come and see us. We, we love to help you. Uh, we've got a knowledgeable staff that can help you in selecting the right product for you. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll Thank be right you. back. Whether you're building a new home or remodeling your current home, at Brian Barnard's Flooring America, we can help you achieve the look you want at the prices the box stores can't compete with. For hardwood, carpet, tile, and rugs, for any area in your home, we'll take your design ideas and turn them into reality. From all the floors in your home to the walls in the kitchen and bath, we have the right products at the right price with exceptional service and installation. Brian Barnard's Flooring America, where friends send friends. At Cabello's Salon & Spa, we love clients like you. Cabello's has the most talented beauty industry professionals in Midtown Tallahassee. Ranked as one of the most popular salon and spas, Cabello's combines an elegant environment with warm and welcoming customer service. Cabello's is known for impeccable hair care expertise from innovative cutting techniques to the latest trends for color. Cabello's is the place to go for Halo Couture hair extensions and luxurious Brazilian blowout treatments. All of our stylists are highly trained, creative, and committed to understanding the needs and desires of our clients with a focus on maintaining the integrity of your hair. As a full-service salon and spa, Cabello's offers luxurious manicures and pedicures and waxing services, as well as eyelash extensions, microblading, skin care, spray tans, and of course, massage services. Make an appointment and discover why you belong at Cabello's Salon and Spa. We are a vintage-inspired furniture and home decor boutique. We have new furnishings that are vintage inspired. We have vintage furniture made to look distressed. We usually repaint it and we have great gifts and home decor. I tell folks that it's located in Midtown, a new shabby chic boutique. Um, you can find lots of unique items that most times you can't find other places. A lot of cottage chic decor. Well, we're definitely one of the very few furniture and home decor boutiques in Tallahassee. 
Um, we're very unique in the way that we, we just don't have very many competitors that have the same exact inventory. So um, we really cater to the unique, the cottage style, and the vintage inspired home furnishings and, and gifts. I shop here because of the Tyler candles. Um, I can always make my house smell wonderful. Um, they also just started carrying Sorelli, so that's a great gift item for somebody that you know just has everything, but everybody could use another piece of Sorelli. As a gift, I would say my all-time favorite gift right now is our Sorelli jewelry line. We um, are a new Sorelli shop in town. We're super excited about it and we it has a huge following and we're really excited to have it as a new addition to our boutique as well as just if you need a good gift for somebody that is if you're having a housewarming party or somebody's having a christmas party and you need to bring a new gift item for their home um, you can find some really neat things <laughs> we do we do carry poopery we are a boutique boutique. Shopping local is the bloodline of your community. Without your local shops you are stuck with big box stores with no um, personal gift giving experiences and cookie cutter home furnishings and whatever else you may buy. Um, when you shop local, you're helping a family pay for ballet lessons or a you know, baseball um, team for their son. So it's not um, supporting a big corporation and their new condo on the beach. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of passion driven work. All mixed up in a big bowl. <laughs>North Florida Women's Care offers the highest quality services for obstetrical and gynecological patients. We are a group practice of caring, industry-leading providers. We have the highest quality ultrasound equipment in Tallahassee. You can call or reach us online 24-7 at the patient portal for appointments, test results, billing, or to send a secure message to our nursing staff. North Florida Women's Care delivers the care you deserve and the trust you expect. Good morning and welcome back to AM Break. Joining me now is Keisha Basio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And let me have you tell folks who you are exactly and why you're here. Well, good morning. My name is Keisha Basio and I am the Director of Community Relations for Clarity Point. We are a specialized memory care community that is proud to be a part of the Tallahassee community. We'll be opening our doors this December. That is amazing. And specifically, Clarity Point deals with what? We specifically, we specialize in Alzheimer's and other types of dementia and providing care, support, and sure. resources to individuals that are living with those diseases and also with the families. Okay. That, and in, I've witnessed this firsthand, and so it is something that a lot of folks do need support for. It's, it's life-changing. It's huge. And not just for the individual, for everyone around them. Absolutely. You, you tend to see a ripple effect. And so, you know, one of the things that we um, are there for is to support the family because, you know, 35% of caregivers are reporting that their health is worsening as a right. result of caring for their loved one. So we are there um, to be a stepping stone. Um, there's, you know, no um, right thing for uh, every person. So, you know, we it's really, not one size fits all. Exactly, right. exactly. So we try to really, you know, step in and, and be a resource and help them to get connected with the right um, people in the community. So it may not be that they move in with us, um, but, you know, we help them find the right fit for them. It could be home health. Um, it could just be educational. Um, so, you know, we have sure. people at the Alzheimer's Association and the Alzheimer's Project that we work close with to help with that. Okay, wonderful. And, and we were actually talking before, you're wearing a very special bracelet. Yes. Let's, let's talk about that. Yes. So we um, have a wellness band, and mm -hmm. this is something that our residents and our staff wear in the building. And what this does is it uh, provides keyless entry into their suite. So we, you know, a person who has cognition issues is not having to keep up with the key. Keys, right, sure. So mm -hmm. 
so mm -hmm. they're able to you know get right into their room it also enable it keeps other people from wandering in and going into their room um, it tells us if they have change in skin temperature or if they've fallen wow where they're at in the building how many steps they've taken so we're actually able to track and trend this information and it helps us better care for our residents and then also to communicate with the physicians that's amazing technology yes yes um, we're we're very excited because um, no one else is currently using this type of technology in town so uh, we are um, what would you say um, groundbreaking yeah wonderful. That's, that's all and it's great to have that here in Tallahassee yes we do also offer educational uh, presentations for the community we have two coming up in October great. Um, so we partnered with um, other people in the community that are experts in their sure. field so on October 5th we have um, the memory disorder clinic mm -hmm. Tracy Adama from the memory disorder clinic is going to be doing dementia sensitivity training and that's part of the dementia care and cure initiative that the Department of Elder Affairs announced sure. last year um, they really want Tallahassee um, Leon County to be dementia friendly community right and you were talking uh, we were talking a little bit of, uh, about statistics as it relates to the community the state what are some important things that folks need to know in, in terms of how many people this really does impact what we're showing is that just in the state of Florida alone mm -hmm. um, 720,000 people will be diagnosed with Alzheimer's within the next 10 years wow. and that does not count the other types of dementias because Alzheimer's is the uh, most um, prevalent of the sure. dementias but there are many many other types of dementias and Alzheimer's just falls underneath that general term um, if you're looking at the America you know it's the America country, right. uh, then what you're looking at that from that standpoint is right now you've got five million people that are living with Alzheimer's and in the next 33 years they're projecting 16 million um, so is there anything else that people at home need to know before we close it out well we just want to invite you to come to our welcome center we do have a welcome center even though our doors are not open yet we are in the welcome center you can come okay. by and see us there you can call me you can find us online at claritypointtallahassee.com um, we're also on Facebook we will be having our grand opening December so we would love for everyone in the community to come and uh, see the building for yourself and and um, we also will um, love to have people volunteer and um, come and spend time with our residents and their families. All right, wonderful. Um, thank you so much for joining us, thank and um, we appreciate it, and we hope that you do amazing, wonderful things. Thank you, thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining us on AM Break this morning. We do appreciate the time you spent with us. You can also check out these pieces on our Facebook page whenever you would like to.